a medical cannabis recommendation via their app, which is absolutely free. And when you come down to our event, only thing you need to bring with you is your driver's license or your state ID. That's all we need. Everything else will be handled through the app, and then you'll be able to talk to one of our doctors virtually. And even if you come there and you're after the first 10 people, don't worry. We still got a discount for you. You'll still be able to get your card for less than $100. We can definitely guarantee yep. that. We'll save you and some money if you make Definitely save you the money if you make the trip down. Yeah, it's a little yep. out of the way, but we were talking about earlier. Even if you're spending twenty dollars in gas just to get where we are, you're still saving money off a hundred dollar referral. So it's worth your time to get down here and see us. Yeah, because it, you know, it's, as long as it's successful, then they'll let us keep doing it. We'll keep doing this. We'll do it again. Yes, yeah, right. He said, "Hit hit the little like button." That's right. So we got 18 yeah. people watching right now. I like to know where everybody is called uh, watching from. So what's your location and what you medicating on right now? And I also want to know if you had a chance to renew your card or join the program and pay the one penny yet. Have you had to go through this process? It became effective on March the 4th. So anyone who will need to renew in the next couple of days, Come it's only going to be a penny. Yeah, come see us, and you know, you know, you could you could only end up paying a penny. Yeah. You get your card for a whole year. You cannot tell me that it. ain't a deal. That's the cheapest way. That's the cheapest place you're going to get it right now is through us. It's the easiest way to get it. Right. <laughs> you know, you come down, right you get now. It I mean, yep, come down there and hang out. Me and my guy Lee, we we gonna chill out. Have some some food, something to eat, something to drink. Answer questions, help you get signed in. Make sure you don't have any technical issues. Basically, hold your hand through the whole process to make sure everything goes smoothly. Give you a little briefing on the new laws, the cannabis rec laws, medical laws. We'll get you filled in and up to date before you even walk out the door. Absolutely, yeah. Like I said, and then after you, and then the best part is. You know, there's a dispensary right next door, and they even have a drive-through. Believe it or not, they got a drive-through. Yeah, so you could come check it out, and then you could be if you're a first experience. You know, well, you have to go and register first to be able to use drive through So I will be a, keep it real with you. You do got to go on there and register first before you can utilize a drive-through. But after that, it's off to the races. Oh yeah, and you know, I think the idea here. The, the governor, he wants people to be able to access it because he's worried about the black market. And I think that what the governor needs to understand is that the black market is really the green market. And people are poor and don't have a lot of money to spend on all these high overtaxed products at these dispensaries. So if they want people to support the dispensaries, they have to cut the taxes down to allow people to have a reason to support local dispensary businesses. But if you, if you run them away from the market before the market even starts by putting fear of restrictions on new, on things that are already allowed in the law, making people feel like you're taking something away from them, why would they want to support any businesses? Why would they want to come to a dispensary? And then right. you have to worry about the Michigan factor. Mm -hmm. You know, Michigan, you know, people aren't just going to Michigan. Michigan is coming here. Oh, yeah, I think it's about time. It's about time for us to get some of that money back from you folks in Michigan. And the way we do that is so you could buy some of our stuff and we can really have some real. I can't wait for the first Michigan versus Ohio. I'm going to be the host of that one. Michigan versus Ohio uh, ca cannabis cup. That's going to be the one, right? Who got the better weed once and for all? Go Bucks. Go Bucks! Y'all better stop supporting the enemy. Go Bucks! Yeah, because okay. I've literally I've heard stories of if you go right across the border, most of the license plates that you see in these dispensaries is Ohio plates. So every one of those cars and every one of those people, they're giving their tax money to Michigan, not Ohio. And then we wonder why our program isn't flourishing the way it is. 